hello friends and once again welcome back to my channel so in uh, today's video I'm going to talk about the safe frame in 3d studio max so without wasting a time let's get started here we are in uh, our 3d studio max let's create some object in the scene so I'm creating one simple object a box and a teapot and now I'll show you how to activate the safe frame and how it is going to be helpful to activate the safe frame you have to use a keyboard shortcut that is shift f when we activate the safe frame safe frame is uh, showing you a preview of how the scene or how the frame is composed according to the output size defined in the rendering settings let's make some changes in the output size and see how the safe frame updates according to the output size we define in the rendering settings so here we are in the rendering settings uh, in the common tab we have this option that is output size depending on the output size we uh, type here like say 200 pixel by 480 so the things are upgraded so if you want to create an image which is of a different aspect ratio once you type in, you can get a preview how the things will appear uh, in the rendering with the help of this safe frame. Now if I put off this safe frame uh, by using a key combination that is Shift F. So in the perspective, we are currently not able to visualize how the things will appear in the rendering as per the output size we have defined in the rendering settings. For that, if I press the Shift F, now see the things are clear and it helps a lot in composting of a scene. Now we'll talk about the other options we have with the save frame. For that we'll have to click on this plus symbol in the perspective. Click. In this you are getting a configured viewport. Click on the configured viewport. Uh, you get a dialog box like this inside this uh, viewport configuration dialog box you have to click on this uh, save frames tab when you click on the save frames tab you get some options which are uh, related to the save frame so in this you have something that is called the live area live area is the area that is uh, represented within uh, yellow outline which you can see in the perspective viewport so live area is basically uh, whatever is seen in the live area is going to be rendered after that you have these options which are really important that is uh, action safe title safe and user safe I'll just put it on and once you put it on click on apply and ok So now within this uh, live area, we have three different outlines. The outermost is the live area. Then the second one is the action safe. Then the third one is the title safe. And the last one is the user safe. So let's try to understand how these things works and uh, how it can be useful. Now the action safe is something that uh, basically ensures that whatever action is the within the frame is shown in almost all the televisions for example if I zoom in a little bit as you can see the box has gone out of the uh, live area as well as the action safe area in that case the the portion of the box which is which has gone out from the live area is not going to be rendered the portion which is outside the action area may not appear in some of the television screens so to ensure that everything whatever we have composed here is uh, properly seen without any kind of crop in any of in most of the televisions around the world we need to keep it within the within the action safe area like this uh, the title safe is uh, smaller than the action frame and uh, this is the area where it is safe to add titles in the frame the user safe frame is uh, the smallest among all the other frames and can fulfill the custom requirements of the user. Uh, so now to put off these action safe, title safe and user safe, you have to click on this plus symbol, go to configure viewport and the safe frame you have this options, you can put these options off 
and uh, apply and OK. So that way we can remove these uh, from the viewport. Uh, so here we have one more thing that is the 12 field grid. Uh, now this 12 field grid when activated adds a grid uh, inside the safe frame. This grid can be uh, used for uh, used as a reference guide for arranging of elements within the frame. So it is going to help you out in uh, uh, composing our frames. So the 12 field grid has one more variant that is 12 by 9. Uh, when activated it uh, adds a very dense kind of uh, grid and uh, we can use it as we use the other one for placing of elements and composing of frames. And afterwards you can close this by unchecking this option that is 12 field grid. Now suppose you have meshed up with all these things and you want to get everything uh, default. So you can click on this option that is default settings and apply and OK. Now things will be back to normal. So that is all about the safe frame introduced to Max. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching.